Hello everybody, this is Mr. Rob and welcome back to episode number 6 of the Cleveland Indians franchise here on MLB The Show 21. Today we are back down on the farm for the second edition of the season, but today we have a little bit of a different episode. We're going to be taking our very first player spotlight of the series, so if you're excited for this one, make sure you leave a like and subscribe down below, especially if you want more franchise content. Now in these player spotlights, what's gonna happen is we're gonna take a look at one specific player, kind of player lock them, and talk about a prospect who could have a future with the organization. Now today we're gonna to start off with their top prospect in the organization, Nolan Jones, a 21 year old third baseman out of Langhorne, Pennsylvania. He has 65 overall, A potential, and is currently in AAA with our Columbus squad. And he is off to a very hot start at AAA, hitting 455 with two home runs through 22 plate appearances. Nolan Jones is the top prospect in our organization. He's actually the 48th best prospect in baseball, according to MLB.com. And he has the tools to be our potential third baseman of the future. He was a second round pick back in 2016. He bats left, he throws right-handed, and he is just a true third baseman, true and true. Cleveland in the past has tried to potentially work him at different lo other locations, including first base, where we're a little bit more thin at, and the corner outfield spots, but he hasn't really locked on to any of those positions. So Nolan Jones will probably, if all works according to plan, he will be our third baseman of the future. Now currently we do have Jose Ramirez at third base, so that kind of stops him there. However, he will not be with the team forever. He's you know, in his late 20s, about to be in his early 30s, he's going to start regressing. And with Cleveland taking more of a small payroll approach, if he demands big money, we're not going to really be able to afford him. So with Jose Ramirez's future in doubt for the long term, that's where Nolan Jones steps in. Hopefully he can take over that spot. Now, some of the positives with Nolan Jones, he has very good durability. He's not going to miss many games. And he has very good discipline at the plate for such a young age. He's only 23 years old, or 21 years old, excuse me. And his discipline is already pretty good. Also, for being 21 years old, I think he has pretty solid contact. It could definitely improve, but it is not in a horrible spot. Things he needs to work on. Well, he does need to work on that contact. It definitely could be better if he wants to be a cornerstone of the offense. His power upside is low. He's not going to be hitting 20, 30 bombs a season more of a contact hitter. And then his vision, he also doesn't have very good plate vision. He's going to swing at a lot of wild pitches. Um, Nolan Jones only went one for five in this game that we player locked with him, but that is not indifferent of his future. Thankfully, Columbus did beat the Gwinnett Stripers five to three. If I had to give an MLB ETA on Nolan Jones, I'm going to say 2022. I don't think he'll be up this year. I don't want to rush Nolan Jones, especially since we do have Jose Ramirez. And, you know, we are playing good baseball right now. Um, down this hopefully if we continue down the stretch we don't need to rush him in the future so six foot two 185 third baseman I plan on seeing him in 2022 maybe he gets a shot in spring training next year just to compete for a roster spot maybe that third base spot whatever happens with Jose Ramirez but that's the first prospect or player spotlight of the series a little bit of a shorter episode next episode we are going to go into scouting I knew I said this episode was going to be scouting, but it's taking me a lot longer to put the scouting up. And I did want to get this episode up because I was going to do this one after scouting. But we'll just have to do it in front of scouting first. So that'll be the next episode. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of this player spotlight. Little quick episodes. Get you guys a little bit of sneak peek into the minors. Um, I will be doing these probably about once every month. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave any feedback you have down below. And don't forget to comment and subscribe if you want more franchise content. This is Mr. Rob. And I'll see you in the next one.